Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a bit of a play around. I don't know about you guys, but I seem to have a ton of like half finished projects literally all over the place. Like they're all over my desk. They're all over to the side of my desk. They're everywhere. So I thought let's just come along and try and actually, you know, finish up some of those projects. Obviously we have done the, you know, the pile from the floor. So that was kind of a good project done. I obviously have some bits to finish off from that because we made a collage page and things like that. But another little thing that I made was um, during the lockdown, I just kind of coffee dyed a bunch of papers and just stitched them together on the sewing machine. Oops, oops. strand there. Um, and yeah, I've got this little kind of, you know, little tiny, very simplistic journal really. Um, but you know, no less lovely because it's just um, simple. And then I have got this, um, you know padded envelope here so oh i best take my let's take my address off there hold on a second see never never quite prepared but there you're right there we go um so i've got this little padded envelope and i wondered whether we could make a you know soft squishy cover for this journal from this envelope now i have never tried this before it may it may not work out you know absolutely no idea how this is going to go so what i thought we'd do first of all is obviously cut the cut the envelope open so if i just cut along the bottom now obviously these little padded ones they've got the line of um bubble wrap haven't they inside and that doesn't tend to ordinarily be actually stuck to the the envelope itself if you see what I mean it's just attached around the seams so what I'm going to do is open it out I don't think it really matters which way I do this so I'll just try and do it whichever is the neater end for you know that I've opened so we'll do it this way so I'm just going to cut it down and I'm going to cut it quite a bit bigger <clears throat> for the moment like that and I'm just going to trim across the top like that so the first thing that I want to do is obviously glue my bubble wrap so it's properly fixed down to the uh, you know like the envelope liner so I'm just going to try this using my you know my regular tacky glue again you know <laughs> must just point out I have not done this before this may be an epic fail, um, you know, but it, it might turn out okay. We, You know, I don't know. Um, but hey, everything's worth a try, isn't it? I mean, I do absolutely love the squishy feel of envelopes. So I'm hoping that this is going to just be like that, but multiplied, because, of course, the bubble wrap is going to make it extra squishy, um, is, is the hope, you know. And, um, yeah, it's going to have a kind of nice nice sound to it and yeah I mean hopefully it's just going to be really nice but like you know like I say I haven't done it before it might be absolutely ridiculous idea and not worth it all but just going in here I mean obviously probably the easiest thing here would have been to actually detach it from here and it would be open and I would be able to glue the whole thing down properly but you know me I have to do everything a little bit cat-handed and um, <laughs> not in the most logical of ways but I mean, as we always say, you know, so long as you get the results that you want in the end, it doesn't really matter, does it? How you, how you achieve that, you just have to go with, you know, your, your style of doing things. And if your style is anything like mine, it might be a little bit sort of scatty and, you know, not conventional. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. Right. So now what I've got, obviously the envelopes have that, you know, this side seam. So I'm going to glue that down so as my envelope doesn't have that flapping about, if you see what I mean. So I might glue that down with my fabric tack. I mean, there's no particular reason why I'm using one glue over another. I'm just, yeah, kind of gut feeling, I suppose, you know, that you just think, oh, that might work best for this and that might work best for that. No clue as to whether it's right or wrong so we'll just press that down hopefully hopefully that's sticking well now and as you can see I mean I've got a longer part at the top so I'm going to just place my book back in 
and I just want to then trim it down so that, you know, I mean, I like my covers slightly overhanging where possible. So, I mean, you know, obviously sometimes that's not possible, but if I can, I quite like them slightly overhanging. So like that, and then fold that over. And can you see, I mean, I've just got a sort of small gap there between the envelope and the journal which is great because it gives me a bit of room for things like lace and what have you. But I mean, I might just trim that down slightly more because perhaps it's a little bit too, too big. Because again, you know, sometimes I quite like the, you know, the bits of lace and what have you sort of poking out slightly from the cover. Right, so that's our proposed cover. As you can see, it's, it's not sticking at all so far. So that's so far not really working so let's try let's try the fabric tack i mean failing this i am actually going to try and open this a bit more and just glue it all down because i think that would be a lot easier right if the fabric tack doesn't well i'd already taken the lid off sorry uh if the fabric tack doesn't work then i do have my hot glue here and we can give that a try so we'll just try this. I mean, to be fair, it may be that the tacky glue would work. I just, you know, possibly haven't really given it enough time. Um, but, you know, of course I am doing a video, so I haven't really got loads of time to wait to see if it works. So we'll just try this instead. And hopefully this will work. So I'll just press it down for a couple of minutes. So I hope everyone's having a good day. I hope you're uh, doing some nice things, maybe some nice craft projects. It's not a very nice day here. It's quite cloudy and grey and um, it's very windy. I had to go, um, you know, just to get uh, you know, some essentials from um, Boots, which is our sort of chemistry type shop. And um, I thought, oh, I'll go on my bike. Wow, what a mistake. It was so windy coming back. It was absolutely horrible. I'm just looking around, sorry. Um, yeah, it was absolutely horrible. And I'm a bit of a fair weather biker. I know I've said this before. I don't overly like biking when it's not perfect biking conditions. I generally prefer to bike when there's like no wind. No wind at all, preferably, yeah. Um, but, you know, certainly as minimal as possible. Right. Let's see how we're doing. Now, this is that mulberry paper, um, which I just happened to know that I had some to the side of my desk. And obviously it's in a brown sort of color. And I thought, oh, because it, often the mulberry paper just reminds me a little bit of fabric in the texture. And I thought that would be a good compromise on the inside between using fabric and using um, paper. So again, we'll see. I mean, it all depends really whether this has actually stuck now. Has that stuck? Yay, I think we're having slightly more luck with the fabric tack than we were with the tacky glue. So I'm going to do the same here. I mean, actually, to be fair, now it is drying, it appears that it, it is sticking a bit. But again, I'll just go over it with the fabric tack. And to be honest, you know, I can always go around this with the sewing machine as well. So it's extra extra secure so okay and I mean obviously these are envelopes that are freely available and you know everyone should be able to access things like this so um you know and often we get obviously things through the post in bubble wrap envelopes so hopefully this is going to be a good way of using some stuff up okay Right, so that's that, and then obviously that's my crease there. So what I'm going to do is try and cover the whole of this with this brown mulberry paper. Let me just see if I've got enough to do it this way around, because otherwise I might not quite cover it all. Yeah, okay. So again, what I'm going to do is just cover the whole thing with the fabric tack. So we just cover the whole thing like that. 
and obviously you know plenty in the inside section of the page as well or you know the cover and then all along on the other the other page like that and then I can just place the whole of the mulberry paper hopefully just down onto the plastic so okay right excuse my head I'll try and you know get it lined up so press that down I mean it's nice to have different texture isn't it so yeah I find the mulberry paper quite um you know a different texture isn't it it's it's a fun sort of texture to have really so that's my envelope now so I'm just going to trim around there Oops. Hang on. sorry just kind of noticed a couple of bits where it's a little bit lumpy and obviously it's quite lumpy because it's bubble wrap but <laughs> you know what I mean where the glue wasn't quite right okay so I'm just going to cut down there And then we just cut down here. Like that. I'll just trim this off here. And then I'll just go along here. We're nearly finished. And then just that tiny bit along the top where I've got sort of a bit of see through bubble bubble wrap material plastic coming out okay so that's my sort of inside now now I probably again I should probably leave that to dry um, again because I'm doing a video I probably probably just go for it now so we'll just bend this over or fold this over and I'm going to go along it with my bone folder okay So, I mean, you know, I've got a bit of lift in here, but that might just be where I didn't really go to the right to the edge. So I'm just going to go round anywhere where it's just coming away at the edges, really, and just reseal it like that. Okay, so I've got a bit more here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all it is, actually, is where I just didn't really get close enough to the edge. So I don't think it's actually lifting away from the plastic, which is great. So, yep, first lesson there, use Fabri-Tac or the, you know, the three-in-one, not the, like, tacky glue, because that's not really going to cut the mustard and, and hold it. So, again, I'm just going to go along these little bits here, just run the glue in. I mean, I always think it's, you know, it's better to have a bit much glue than not enough, isn't it? Because you don't really want your things coming apart after you've made them. So again, just a little bit more here. Okay. Oops. Now getting pretty covered in Fabri-Tac, which was not really the object here. Uh, right, okay. Go again, just down here. As I say, I mean, I could go round this on the sewing machine, to be honest, which then, you know, that would really secure it. And then I wouldn't really have to worry quite so much. So I, I might do that. Um, I haven't got my sewing machine, obviously, as you know, sort of near me. But, yeah, I might do that afterwards, but... For the time being, we'll just make do with the glue. Oops. Just pop a bit more in there, I think. Okay. Okay, right, let's just throw that in the bin. So that's the inside of my cover and just to you know demonstrate this is how my journal would look in the cover so that's really nice isn't it 
don't know yet what I'm going to do with the outside cover. Because it's very squishy, I think it's, you know, it's lending itself to fabric, really. So I'll need to go through my fabric. And, um, I mean, I'm looking around already thinking, oh, what fabric shall I use? But, yeah, we'll have to um, sort of go through, I think, and find, you know, a fabric that's, that's a good choice. And then my journal itself, as I say, has already been stitched on the sewing machine. So, obviously what I could do is just now stitch it in. So I might do that before I put the, you know, um, what do you call it, the cover on the outside. So obviously I have done, you know, binding of journals quite often before, so I don't want to bore everyone by doing that. So I'll do that off camera and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back from the uh, sewing machine. Sorry, I was just... I was just leaning up to check that it was actually videoing because I've pressed the button but sometimes I press it and it doesn't seem to then start recording so uh, yeah that's what I was <laughs> way laid with or distracted by. So I've brought along some fabric which I thought you know this is nice and neutral and just complements this really nicely. Um, it's just some leftover that I've got um, from some that uh, I was gifted by Laura and um, I have used it for another journal actually previously, so hence I'm obviously, you know, only got sort of a small amount left. But that's fine, it's it's more than enough for what I need. So again, I'm just going to chop this down, and I know that I'm really going way, way bigger than the piece that I need, but it just, you know, helps me to be able to sort of get it, um, you know, on here correctly, I guess. So obviously you can see it's got a seam here, so I'm going to just trim along the seam as well. I mean, you know, a lot of people probably would perhaps unpick the seam or something like that. I mean, I can't be bothered, to be honest, to just sit unpicking the seam. And, you know, why? Why would you need to do that? It works out just as well to just cut the seam off. So unless you're really trying to preserve the fabric, you know, I don't really think that that's a sort of necessary thing to do. So as you can see, I've just got sort of a bit of lifting here going on where obviously I've stuck the, um, you know, that, you know, the edge piece of the envelope down. Um, which again, probably I should have had this at the back. But of course, when I then stitched the journal into the signature, you know, I just didn't really give it any thought and I just stitched it in and didn't really pay much attention to what was back and what was the front because I thought, oh, it's being covered up. But yeah, I mean, hindsight's a wonderful thing and obviously if I were paying more attention and doing it again, I would probably learn my lesson and have this little ridgy type piece at the back. But I mean, as it is, I'm just going to sort of, you know, go along anywhere where it's slightly lifting and, you know, hopefully once the fabric's on, it's just going to cover that up anyway. So, you know, hopefully it's not going to be too problematic but yeah I mean obviously in an ideal world I would have had that at the back right so I'm going to now just cover the entire thing with the fabric so just go right the way round so oh by the way yep I forgot to say I did stitch this on the sewing machine um you know whilst the camera was off and I was stitching this uh signature in I just thought actually I'm just going to stitch that mulberry paper down and it looked really nice so I'll show you that in a second so let's just get this fabric on so I mean this is going to be a really lovely squishy um, <laughs> tactile feeling journal I mean that's if you know that's if that's your thing I mean I love those squishy feeling journals I think there's just something really really nice about them um, but you know each to their own I realize it's probably not everybody's thing so we just stick that down like that okay and obviously I'm just paying a bit of extra attention you know where that sort of ridge bit is that I just reinforced by gluing it down a bit more so that's that now here you can see I've got a very tatty piece so what I might do is actually cut that down hopefully a little bit neater just using my pinking scissors 
like that. Oops, I said a bit neater. Look at what I've done. Not not very neat there. Let me just get that little piece that I made a mess of. Okay. So, I mean, I know it's not perfectly straight, but I mean, you know, it's good enough, I think. So I don't think people really are going to be examining it to see how straight that, that cut is. So what I'm going to do now, oh, it actually looks, <laughs> it actually looks worse now I've folded it over. But again, never mind, never mind. Let's not get caught up with that. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is cover this with you know some more of the fabric because as I say I don't have that much left of it so if I do it like this that way it's going to tie in now unfortunately I don't think I've got enough to have the fabric running in the same direction if that makes sense um, it's got a definite pattern and this is like sideways on I think I'm going to have to have this running downwards because I don't think I've really got enough to to do it sideways but again you know that's fine I don't really mind that so because this is now the back you know we're now sticking the fabric on the back so it's fine so let me just get that fabric out of the way and again I've got these sort of seam parts so I'm just going to cut off the seam here like that okay now I have got this little interesting part which if you can see that's where the fabric was you know had like a sort of ridge maybe this was a cushion or something like that um, which I thought well actually that maybe would make quite a nice decorative detail on the back so what I might do is trim this down obviously further I just wanted to see how much you know how much more I needed to trim it if you see what I mean and then I can put this over so just going to trim this down slightly more I mean again this is where obviously measuring would be <laughs> would be beneficial probably but you know again it, there's no rules and we just have to do things as we you know find easiest don't we so even if it ends up in the end that it perhaps isn't the easiest right so that's just a little bit of decorative detail then on the back which I think is quite nice so let's glue that down in place now I'm just going to go sort of partially down for a minute like that because I'm not quite sure 100% where that fabric's going to go to so just cover it with plenty of glue like that and then get that edge like that now as you can see I mean I am going to have to obviously you know trim along there that's you know horribly not straight hello sweetheart my daughter's just come up um, so yeah I'm just going to trim this off here because I've got a kind of big bit there like that okay and then we can overlap this here and now I mean obviously some people would be able to be really neat and tidy and probably would be able to marry these edges up no I would not be able to do that to be honest so there's no point in me even trying to do that because that's just going to be you know a mess and look awful so what I'm going to do instead I'm going to just make this slightly smaller like that okay right just trim that down and then just check I've actually now not trimmed it so far that it won't reach right so it will just be a kind of neat little um, tuck over which you know will look absolutely fine so just apply again the fabric tack down here to you know stick this piece here so again plenty of glue in the middle of where that fabric's going to be and then I'm just going to apply some along the very edge of the fabric there so it's you know glued down right to the edge okay 
and then I'm going to do exactly the same here so just running the fabric like that all the way there like that a little bit along that that edge of that fabric okay right and then we just fold that over oops like that okay let me get these pieces of paper out before they're just stuck into the fabric as well <laughs> well i mean it, it would be fine we'd make it look okay obviously if that happened but you know it would be better without them so press my fabric all down and hopefully it's now you know all completely stuck down now around the whole cover so you can see there where i've obviously stitched around the mulberry paper it looks really nice doesn't it so yeah i'm pleased how that turned out right press this down can you hear that it just sounds lovely doesn't it it's got a lovely squish and yeah really really nice feel to it so i mean as i say you know it's not a kind of full-blown thick you know big junk journal but I mean it's very cute right now I'm having problems getting over that little seam type part so I'm just trimming it down with my pink and scissors just around I don't want to come too close in but you know just a bit closer like that just so it looks tidy really or tidier so like that okay And just down here, right the way across, and then I'm just going to tidy up this edge, which obviously looks very tatty. Yay, the sun has come out now, finally. So, right, let me discard off all this rubbish that's now everywhere. Oh gosh, I've got all sorts of stuff going on on the desk today right i don't know why i haven't been using half of that stuff but it's obviously kind of made its way out from underneath some of the piles right so there's our cover really 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 cute and yeah feels really nice and squishy so i'm just going to go along and just you know patch in any pieces where it needs a little bit of extra glue because like where I've joined those fabrics together they were separate if that makes sense so I don't really want them being separate I'd prefer that they were glued together also this fabric it's like two fabrics layered up so just every now and then you know I might have to just touch up the odd the odd piece let me just tidy that up okay right so that's that's that now which way round have we got it there so yep yeah, i'm just going to literally decorate it up i don't know why i'm constantly saying so that's irritating even to my own ears so ah there it goes again i do apologize i go through phases of constantly repeating a word and then you know generally i replace it with another word repeat that for absolutely ages and yep i have done the whole so before but that seems to have now come back which is very irritating but never mind i'm having a look to see whether i thought i had bought my um my book plates with me well i haven't but i have got one happens to be floating about ready cut oh and actually not not a bad color so that's pretty handy isn't it so i might just yeah, might just pop that on there. I do really love, I know it's really boring because it's always the same, but I do really love putting the little brads in those. So I'm just going to do that. Let me grab a couple. I did put a load of brads into my tin the other day so that I would have them here and not have to then look for them. But they're obviously already, already dwindling down. Okay. So we just... Press that down, and then this one here. Oh, 
Oops, come on. Okay. Right. Oh, come on. Can get that to go round for a minute. So there's that one and that one. Okay. And we'll just obviously decorate this up a little bit. So I'm not quite sure what I want to put on here, but Again, I'm just trying to go with that theme of just using any old stuff that's laying about. So I'm going to try and stick with that and, um, you know, just use that as my main, my main goal. Just using those things that are just here on the desk. Let me get rid of my pinking shears because they're quite big to have here on the desk. So I've got this, um, it's like a bluey grey. So... I know that the journal itself is predominantly sort of browns and beige, but it has got some bluey colours in there, so I don't feel it's kind of too far off the realms of, you know, the theme that's going on here. And I might just ink it up a bit. I haven't ever inked this fabric, uh, this lace, I don't think, so I'll just check how it looks. Well, it's not too bad. Okay go along it it's a stretchy lace so unfortunately as I'm inking it it's kind of moving around all over the place so it makes it very hard to get it very even but I mean that's fine because obviously if it were vintage and discolored you know it wouldn't have probably discolored in an even manner anyway would it so you know that's fine right got this piece also which is different but it is a piece of grey which I've obviously inked up a different occasion and um, yeah might as well just use that because it's because it's laying around here and the order of the day is you know using up stuff got this bit of hessian here I don't know whether I could somehow incorporate that somewhere Oops. obviously this I had cut into a circle at some point and then didn't use it as a circle so ended up cutting it cutting it down but it's very hard to now get rid of the circle shape without it becoming so small that it's not really very useful so right, let's just Oops. I'm kind of just thinking shall we just get glue in some stuff on here because otherwise I feel like this could turn into one of those, you know, being here all day sagas, to be honest. So I've got this. This is not fabric. This is paper, obviously, but I do quite like that there. Now, what else I'm going to do is actually ink this fabric up in a couple of places. Haven't ever done that with this particular fabric before. As I say, I did use this on another journal. Um... But yeah, I didn't ink it up or anything, but I'll just ink it up a little bit. Not everywhere, but just maybe one or two, one or two places. And then a bit, a bit on the back. Just like that. Because it's nice to have it, you know, patchy and discolored, isn't it? You don't necessarily want it you know, 100% the same colour all the time or all, all the way round because that's not really how things tend to discolour, is it? They often discolour in a sort of patchy nature. Okay. Just not keen on that piece that looks very, very fresh and new. Okay, right. So I prefer that now. Now, the Hessian, obviously, if I try and ink up probably would just th you know thread away to nothing but we'll just give it a try well not too bad didn't go too badly so I've got the label which I do really like and then we've got this lace which I mean I was thinking kind of here on the edge but yeah I'm going to I'm going to get glue in because oh, I keep forgetting that I haven't got the um, top on this because the top of, of these massive fabric tacks is really tiny so you know kind of if I'm glancing at something else and then reach for it it feels like it's got the tiny lid this tiny um, already on there and of course it hasn't so yeah I'm constantly then just getting mucky 
Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Like that. So let's let's ink up this bit of lace. Okay. So I mean, I hope that this bubble wrap envelope holds up okay um, as a cover. You know, it definitely. You know, I love the squishy squishiness of it. And obviously only only time will really tell whether it does hold up okay. But yeah, I mean, I don't really see why it wouldn't. But, um, you know, obviously only really time will tell. Now I have got this, which normally I do tend to cut this off of the, uh, oh, what do you call it? You know, where it's, where it's attached on that thing, making it gathered. Um, I do generally sort of cut it off of that, but I think for this it looked quite nice actually staying gathered. What do you think? Yeah, I quite like that. So I'm going to stick this label down. So this has been coffee dyed and everything. So just pop that one down. like that might have to go on to there okay and then I'm going to put this I might just might just hot glue this like that and then I'm going to just have the book plate across there like that Oh, that looks so nice, doesn't it? I don't know why, but yeah, to me, that just looks really, really nice. Oh, and it feels so squishy. I just love the whole squish. Right, and then I'm going to have that piece of lace just across there because I think that looks really pretty. So I will fabric tack that one down. Okay. That. Okie dokie, and then I'm going to have that sort of curved around like that, I think. So just chop that down. Oh, I don't know, because then I think, oh, have I ever seen anyone else's to have anything like that on there? I'm not sure that I have, to be honest. <laughs> Does that matter? Or is that because actually not many people do like that type of thing? Just having a look at this piece of lace, which just happens to be here still, obviously, as well, hanging around. Because, you know, it would be good to obviously get some of these bits off of my desk. Well, I might just have that there. So this, obviously, I didn't put glue on this edge so I'm just going to hot glue that down and that's just you know nice and instant I suddenly had this thought that I thought we're gonna suddenly hear popping in a minute you know like where the hot glue has kind of um, gone through the fabric and it suddenly will then start popping the bubble wrap <laughs> that would be quite funny wouldn't it I don't know why that kind of entered my head and just amused me, but I just thought, oh, wouldn't that be funny? Okay. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Now, do we want that there? Oh, maybe I prefer it here, actually. That is quite nice. Do you know what? Now I'm thinking, should I take it off the gathered? Let me stand up and look down on it. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty through the lens because it looks a little bit gold it's I don't know whether that will actually come out on whether you know on camera or whether it just will look like it here um but yeah through the camera it looks like it's a bit gold and it looks really 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 pretty okay right well let's just go for this so I'm not going to have it at a curve so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the fabri tack straight to that um you know header -y bit where the lace is gathered 
like that and I'm going to put it down running in sort of a straight line down the edge there like that just press that down a bit now oh, that looks really pretty doesn't it well it it does here I don't know whether it does on on camera like I say when I look through the lens it's looking very goldy and lovely I don't know how, you know whether it's coming across like that actually on the camera but yeah it looks really pretty here to me so um I hope it does where you are right I've got some of these flowers should we just ink one of those up and have a flower somewhere let's just ink that up a bit do we want that there or shall we have it down there let me just stand up again Mm, decisions, decisions. This is just so hard sometimes to make a decision. It's quite nice up there, actually. Oh, I quite like it there. Right, I'm going to have it here. Up there. You've made what, sorry? You've made your decision on your game, have you? She's playing a game on her tablet. What was your decision then, sweetheart? Ah, clever. Clever girl. It's a funny old game, isn't it? What is it that you're playing? What's it called? No. It's a bit like, what did you call it the other day? Minecraft, what? Um, what did you say it was? Minecraft. I can't remember now what she called it, but yeah. It's... No, it wasn't Minecraft demo. It was Minecraft something else. It was, um, oh, I can't remember, but yeah. Right, might just finish it off with a bit of lace up there. So again, what I'll do is apply the glue straight to the lace. And actually it's, it's this way up, weirdly, because it doesn't really want to sit this way up. But honestly, it, it, it is supposed to be this way up because the sort of seamy type parts, they're the other way, if that makes sense. So let's just glue that down there. Okay. Yay, right, got there in the end. So, I mean, to me, that looks like probably enough on there. I may come back to this and add a couple more things down somewhere here. I'm not feeling it right now, but, you know, kind of sometimes you come back to something another day and you think, oh, actually, it could do with, you know, this, that and the other down there. So for the moment, I'm going to probably leave it as is. Um, and I'm just going to add a few little bits and pieces um, to the actual journal itself. I mean, as I say, it's just a quite, um, you know, little basic one. But, yeah, I'm just going to add a few little bits and bobs there. So um, a few pieces of ephemera and, yeah, that will be that will be it, I think. So I hope you like it. And uh, if you give it a try with your bubble wrap envelopes, I mean, they're just super sort of squishy and nice. So, yeah, I've really liked using it. And... Um, you know, I love the way it feels. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks then. Bye.